Tell me about the Barcelona restaurant. <laughs> well, that was on the corner of Nebraska. Well, no, it's a Spanish-style restaurant. We used all the red tile on top. They had the stucco on the outside then. All the Spanish inside. It was where the art school is now? Uh-huh. Okay. They had um, mm -hmm. nice tiles on the inside. Oh, everything was Spanish-style. They had a dance floor. They had a bar. They had a restaurant. It was nice. I don't want your after I can not get it. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> so you, tell me about your 21st birthday. <laughs> My 21st birthday. Well, let's see. You know the story I already told you, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Grandpa made me mad. Stepped on my toe dancing or something. I don't know. And I was mad at him. He wanted me to come back and dance, and I wouldn't do it. I sat at the bar, and I told the bartender to bring me 20, no, 12. I was 21 years old. Bring me 12. Pete ladies. <laughs> I, they had 100 proof whiskey, Southern Comfort, and some kind of Pete Grenadine or something. Like he looks at my husband, and he says, give them to him. <laughs> like I said, I sat there and drank them, but I don't remember how many of my drank or anything afterwards. <laughs> I remember waking up the next morning, I was one sick cookie. <laughs> that was at the Barcelona restaurant? That was at the Barcelona restaurant, yeah. In Nebraska and I did to celebrate my birthday. <laughs> I left my kids, I had home. My kids were home with my ne next door neighbor, Lillian DeLibro. She said she undressed me that night and put me to bed. She couldn't get my girdle off. <laughs> <laughs> put your kids to bed and then put you to bed, huh? <laughs>